Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and full review of this Melcam new upgraded webcam in 1080p, says also full HD with ring light, microphone, everything. It even has a cover and it's listed for only $29.99 on Amazon. So definitely one of the cheapest full HD webcams on Amazon with all the features we need. And so I thought it could be really interesting to show that for you. And I'm going to test the thing here on my laptop. So here we have the box full HD webcam, some description, HD resolution, widescreen video built in microphone. So could be really interesting to see how good the camera really is if the autofocus is really working good and how good the microphone is and I'm going to show you a full sample of course of the video and especially of the audio so you know how other people will be able to understand you so so here's some kind of small instructions manual but usually it should be required because it's uh, just plug and play especially when we are talking about Windows 10, shouldn't be any problem at all, but maybe it still helps you to make a better buy decision or if you bought used or you just lost instructions. So here's everything and here's the camera and for this very low price, we do not only get the camera itself, we also get this uh, small tripod stand, which is really nice here. Uh, th this is not always included. You have to know that this is a nice extra. You can bend this and if you want to use this as a stand, but of course you can use it directly on your desktop or uh, I mean, of course, it's built with this nice bracket here for on top of your laptop or your screen. So I've turned the laptop a little bit to the side to show you how this would work here. And the really good thing with these brackets here is that it works for thin uh, monitors or thick uh, monitors. You can open this uh, to very wide angle or you can make it really small if you have something very thin like this one here. And the good thing is we can bend it around and i mean this is a function which i'm missing with a lot of web cameras that we are very limited how we can bend it down and here it's much better so this is a really nice thing sometimes people have these monitors very high and then it's impossible to point the camera down uh, to your face so this is much better here really really good solution and we have this cover here which is already built in. I mean, with some of the other cameras, we get some kind of cover, but you have to use a tape or almost glue it like that. So here we have it already built in, but we still can move the camera around, I think uh, 360 degrees. You can point it to wherever you want to point. So you have actually two uh, possibilities how to protect your privacy so either you are using this to turn it to the side or to the back or you are just using this mount here I mean you can uh, take it away so this is not like a permanent thing if you don't want to use the thing you can just point it to the side uh, instead of using this cover so you have really both options and you don't have to use like a glue or sticker or so so I had it a uh, wrong way around. I think this is the way how it goes and then it is nicely secured and you can open and close as needed. So I'm going to install that and then we'll go from there. So here we have the USB plug. It's even uh, protected and we just plug it in here and usually we should get some information like setting up a device and then it takes uh, some time to get then another notification when the device is ready. So here we are uh, already ready devices, ready set up and ready to use. So by the way, before we start everything, 
recording I wanted to show you the light as a button here on the side uh, we can turn on and off and change the setting of the light so it's just like a sensor switch and here's the brightest setting and you can see it's pretty good I mean it's not extreme but it can help already a lot if you have to work in a darker room yeah it's I think it's a nice construction to have this here on the side you don't have to touch here around the camera so I'm pointing this towards this uh, sample box which has uh, some different colors I'm opening the original Microsoft webcam software it's actually the uh, Microsoft camera so if you don't have it already and you need it, you can go to the Microsoft store and get it for free it's from Microsoft. It's a good thing and you have to usually just touch here uh, to uh, switch to the next available camera. Sometimes we have to do it more. Now it already works and we have the uh, image here. I'm pointing this a little bit down to see how good this works. Let's see if it's uh, focusing nicely and you can see how close we can get it. That's really nice here. We can go really, really close and you can see it's definitely an out of focus. Yeah, here it's a little bit too close. I mean, we are super close here. Uh, you can see so it, here it's a little bit struggling, but, but I mean, these webcams are not built to focus on such short distance and when we move a little bit further away yeah, then it's focusing nicely yeah. i'm here at about i would say five inches or so which is pretty close for a webcam you can see it's super sharp super nice focusing absolutely perfect clear this is as good as it gets so let's check on the setting if we are using the best settings here we can see for the camera photos so here's the maximum setting i hope you can see that here on the side we can use maximum 1080p here for the uh, camera and when we go down to the video quality let's open that tool and we can see we can have up to 1080p native 16 by 9 with 25 frames per second absolutely perfect and that's uh, what we have here i can also go back to the camera and shoot the picture here so you can see i've made a picture here or i can record and i'll show you that uh, in better quality instead of just recording it even supports the manual focus as you can see i can use the manual focus of this software so if you want to play around with that yeah you can do that it's pretty interesting so we have to move it around a little bit that it's focusing again so pretty nice sharp image i move the camera a little bit around so you can see other things here's a picture on the top i think that's focusing nicely as well i'm pointing the camera a little bit to the side to the door yeah i think everything is pretty good as good as it gets there is some kind of waving i think but it's maybe just for uh because of the camera i haven't had this on the side i think when it goes just to the wall it's not so much or there is just some interference i'll have to find out maybe yeah, now i found out what the problem was uh, in the settings i have been switching from 50 hertz to 60 hertz uh, you can see these two options here and now it's much better there's no interference anymore it's absolutely perfect image here with no problem so i'm going to record an audio sample now for you so you can listen to the microphone so here's the voice sample to listen for you audio test one two three four five audio test one two three four five so i hope you have been able to understand everything nice and clear i have also transferred this sample to my main computer and been listening with my headphones and i had the impression that 
the quality is really really good there was no interference the microphone has been picking up my voice pretty natural and clear i would say at least definitely for this price range it's amazing what i have found when i was pointing the camera towards me which you can also see here that it is a little bit overexposing in the default setting you can see it's pretty bright i mean there's a lot of light inside but i have seen cameras which uh, were handling this better so but we can definitely compensate that and you can see that now uh, it's pretty good I think, yeah, my t-shirt, everything uh, looks pretty natural. It's still a little bit of a lot light, but I had the camera pointing towards my face and I had the impression that it was doing a really good job. I mean, it's not a $100 camera, but for this price range, I would say, yeah, it's absolutely awesome. And there's also another really important part of this camera. I think you can see now the green light while I'm recording. Yeah, yeah as long as I have something open like this camera app here, it's showing a green light. When I would close the thing here, I hope you can see that on the side. I'm closing the thing here and now the green light is turned off. So you have some... Uh, indication if something or somebody is recording you this is also some kind of safety measure which helps you to really stay safe i mean we can also play a, a little bit around with the light but i think it's not changing a lot here uh, because the the room is very bright anyway i can turn off the light maybe that helps yeah, now the light is off in the background, so let's turn on the light here. You can see you can really play around a lot. I mean, the camera itself, maybe it's not uh, representing the most natural tone of everything, but in general it's doing a pretty good job. So I have it mounted here even on the tripod and you can see how easy you can use that. That's also very helpful and you can see, I mean, most of it is really, really good, natural, good colors. This is definitely as good as it gets for this price. There is really nothing to complain and I'm super happy with this at the moment and I'll put down the link to the Amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out or the drive from there if you like it and I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and I'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time